gonna start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rock Kadesh, the one to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on top of this truth. Alright, do something real quick on um, inner peace. Alright, that's what I'm gonna tell you this one inner peace. This is John 14. Verse 27 Peace I leave with you And peace I give unto you Not as the word give Give I unto you Let not your heart be troubled You let it be afraid So The Lord said he was leaving peace with us And if you go up to the 26th verse We see what this peace is But the comforter Which is the Holy Ghost, the Rock Cockadash, whom the Father was sent in my name, he should teach you all things and bring all things to remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So, this is what this peace is. So then, in peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Because the comforter, which is the rock of Kadesh, you know, it gives you peace. You know, it gives you understanding of the scriptures. It gives you peace. And it comes your spirit. Right? Now we go here. Let's see. Matthew 6 verses 25 through 34. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye should eat or what ye should drink, neither ye for your body, what ye should put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? So, you know, is not your life more important than what you're going to eat and what you're going to wear and what your clothes? Behold, the fowls of the earth, for they sow not, neither do they reap, neither do they gather into bonds. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them, and are you not much more better than they? So, he said he feeds the birds, he takes care of them, the Lord is going to take care of you. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his statue? I mean, you can't change your height, your appearance, who you are, you know. That's something only the Lord can do. And why take ye out for a for a raiment? Alright? So why should you think about you know call for clothes and food and shelter? Consider the leaders of the field, how they grow, they toil, neither not, neither do they spin. Alright? And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of the others. So, you know, Solomon, the richest king to ever live, you know, in all his glory, you know, he was, he's not as, you uh, know, um, decorated as a lily was, right? And they say, wherefore, if power so clothes the grass of the fields, which to this day is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, should he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith, all right? Therefore, Take no thought, saying, "What should we eat, or what should we drink, or where we we should be clothed?" All right. So don't think about your food, drinks, and what you should be clothed. For all these things do the Gentiles seek. We should know fancy cars, fancy clothes, um, things of that material stuff. You know that's what the Gentiles seek. You know, you know the people that's not concerned or worried about the Lord. For your heavenly Father knows that ye have need of all these things, all right? But seek ye first the kingdom of power and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. So, you seek the Lord first, and everything else is going to be added unto you, all right? Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow should take 
look out for the things of itself. So don't worry about the next day, worry about tomorrow, because you know it's all going to take care of itself. Alright? Then if you skip up to the um, 11th verse, it said, Give us this day our daily bread. Alright? So that's something to remember. Give us this day our daily bread, which means, you know, ask the Lord to give you what you need to uh, sustain you. Uh, to make it just for the day, you know. That's why he put that in the Lord's prayer. It's very something very important to do. Alright? And it helps you stay at peace a little more. Alright, this is um Isaiah 43 verse 2. Alright, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, thou should not overflow thee. Alright, so pretty much when you pass through the waters or whatever, in the rivers and everything, you know, you know they ain't going to take you over. When thou walkest through the fire, thou should not be burned, neither should the flame kindle upon thee. So pretty much the Lord said he's just going to, he's going to protect you when you go through these things, you know, when you go through troubles, when you go through things, God, so the Lord is going to keep you when you pass through the rivers and when you pass through the fire, alright? For I am the Lord thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Sabit for thee. Alright? So, that's the Lord saying that, you know, He's going to take care of you because He's the Lord the power, alright? Now let's get Psalms 23rd. Alright. Alright. It's Psalm of King David. Alright. First verse. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. Alright. So you got the Lord. You ain't going to have to want for things. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. The green pastures are the good things. You know, the present things for you. So when the Lord is your shepherd, you know, he's going to. You know, leads you in the right direction. It's the still waters, the calm waters, you know, the waters is not raging to overthrow you or, you know, to destroy you, you know, the peaceful places, you know, the Lord is going to keep you in around good things and around calm things if you follow the Lord, all right? He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, all right? So the Lord is going to keep you on the right track. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is America, you know, the valley of the shadow of death, where all types of evil and stuff is normal, alright? I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy ride and thy staff, they comfort me. So, pretty much, you should fear nothing that you have to go through, because the Lord is with you, alright? And his ride and staff is going to comfort you, alright? Thou hast prepared a table before me in the prison of my enemies. So the Lord is going to bless you in front of your enemies, alright? Thou anoints my head with all my cups running over. So, you know, the Lord will take care of you, you know. He's your shepherd. As long as you're one of his people, you try to follow his command, do what he say, the Lord will take care of you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I would thrill in the house of the Lord forever. Alright? So, that, that's very powerful songs right there. Alright? Now let's get, um, John 4, 1. These things I have spoken unto you. This is John 16, the 33rd verse. Uh, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you should have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So the Lord is letting you know that you're going to have trouble in this world, but when you trust and believe in Him, when you focus your mind on Him, that is where inner peace is going to come from. You're going to have peace when you concentrate on the Lord, alright? This world is trouble. This world is your test, 
right? But the Lord is your peace. He's your refuge. And, you know, the Spirit of the Lord, the Rakash Kadesh, that's your comforter, right? That what gives you comfort to wherever you're going to, all right? So John 16, 33 again, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you should have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So the Lord said he conquered the world, you know. So just stay, you know, stay happy, stay about you. Because in the Lord you will have peace. All right, this is Isaiah 40. Twenty-nine. All right. He he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. All right. So the Lord said He gives power to the faint to the ones that have no might. He increases strength. And the youth should faint and be weary. Should faint and be weary. And the young man. Should utterly fall, right? But they that wait upon the Lord should renew their strength, and they should mount up with wings of, as an eagle. They should run and not be weary. They should walk and not faint. So, you know, the Lord is going to get you through wherever you're going to, right? You just got to trust and believe in Him, right? All right, and, um, and Jeremiah 29 11 For I know the cops that I think toward you, said the Lord, the cops of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Alright? So, you know, you, know, you just gotta think so good cops, you know what I'm saying? Nothing bad. Twelfth verse. Then should ye come upon me, and ye should go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. So you remember praying is part of getting that inner peace. You know you gotta pray to the Lord, and ye should seek me and find me when ye should search for me with all your heart. So long as your heart stays on the Lord, you are gonna seek the Lord. You are gonna find him. All right. Now let's get um. Go back to um, John four. Right. All right, John four and twenty four. Yeah, how is the spirit? And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Alright? So, you got to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And that's part of what's necessary to find that inner peace. Alright? Now, let's get them. Um, Psalms 119. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing should offend them. So part of getting that peace is um, that's law, you know, following the Lord's law, which is this whole Bible, Old and New Testament, all right? All right? Lord, I have hope for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul keep, has keep thy testimony, and I have love them exceedingly. Right. I have kept thy precepts in thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let me cry, let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy words. So, the 
law gives you understanding and that also is what it leads to that peace, alright? So you gotta keep the Lord's laws and uh, what he said do in his book and you know and these precepts, you know, study this Bible and this Bible and his precepts will give you peace and the peace. This is Psalms. Let's see. Oh man, what's on? That's the rest of Psalms. Let's see, let's see. Alright, Psalms 34. Let's start at verse 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Alright? So the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. Alright, so if you're doing what you're supposed to do, doing all right, and following the Lord's word and doing what he say, the Lord will deliver you. Now, the unrighteous, the Lord ain't going to have nothing to do with it. They're on their own. But as long as you listen to the Lord and does what the Lord asks you to do, the Lord is going to look out for you. Alright. This is from 1st Thessalonians 5th chapter, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice every, evermore, pray without ceasing. And that is the key, one of the keys to you no know, finding inner peace. You got to pray without ceasing, all right? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of power in Amashiach, Yahweh Shah, concerning you. So you got to give thanks for everything, you know, that the Lord do, all right? Praise the Lord and pray without season. Pray big without season. And, you know, and just rejoice in the Lord, all right? Study this word daily and, you know, keep your focus on the Lord. And that is how you find inner peace, all right? And with that, shalom.